Hello and welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood, and today we got R. Kelly can no longer release new music to fans. And this is getting real interesting right here because this is the number one thing I had a problem against. Y'all can put the man, you can convict the man of his wrongdoings, but stopping his music is something just totally hateful. That's like y'all, y'all hate the nigga instead of wanting him convicted or getting help. So that means that y'all don't even want a motherfucker to have a second chance to be able to change. But here goes the story. These days, R. Kelly's career and life resemble an airplane that's stuck in a holding pattern, circling above the airport with no place to land. The 12 play singer's contract and dealings with RCA slash Sony are in peril. After the music label indicated they are refusing to distribute any of the embattled singer's new music for the foreseeable future, they will also withhold any money that they normally put behind his projects until the legal probes in Chicago and Atlanta are resolved, one way or another. This is, of course, a continuation of the disastrous fallout from the explosive Lifetime documentary Surviving R. Kelly, in which he is accused of committing a number of sexual atrocities against women for decades. Robert S. Kelly, 52, is said to be irate at RCA's decision, TMZ reports, because he's been bunkered up in the studio recording new music According to his RCA contract, he is required to produce two new albums. The entertainment publication adds that Kelly is particularly incensed since they won't pay for his music videos either. Executives at RCA slash Sony are in a no-win situation. They are obviously bowing to public pressure and the mute R. Kelly movement to shut him down artistically, however... They have a written contract with Kelly, so they are also opening themselves up to a lawsuit that Kelly could win if he is not charged with any crimes. On the other hand, R. Kelly is like that free agent in sports who used to be a coveted commodity but can no longer find a team that wants to sign him. If Kelly leaves RCA slash Sony, what other labels would be willing to sign him? Moreover, sources close to the situation told TMZ that other artists considered R. Kelly something akin to nuclear waste and don't want to touch him or do collaborations with him. As a result of the latest developments, R. Kelly, who began making music professionally in the late 1980s and came out with the group public announcement soon thereafter, is staring at being frozen out of an industry he strived in for 30 years. So, this is my take on the whole situation. R. Kelly, if he did do the stuff, yes, I want him convicted. But, do I want to see any fucking body just suffer to where everything's took? They don't have no way to take care of their family, their kids, or nothing, even after they get help? Nah, don't nobody really want that shit. Unless, unless... This is part of the cult that's trying to get all the motherfucking black leaders up out of there. Anybody that could do something for you when motherfucking martial law comes comes down, anybody that can afford to make a safe haven place for his people, they want to get everybody out of there, everybody in power. So everybody with money, this is a heads up to y'all motherfuckers. If y'all ain't going to back R. Kelly now, shit, your ass is next. And don't sit there and like, hey, why, why ain't nobody backing me, motherfucker? Because you didn't help out when it was time to help out. Now, yes, the women should get, they just do. Motherfucker R. Kelly needs to get convicted of whatever he did, if he did do it. I agree to that. But ruining a man's life? Nah. What the fuck is going to court and what in the hell is sentencing for if you ain't going to be able to forgive? Because shit, why the fuck am I getting sentenced? <laughs> Why am I doing the time if I'm still going to come out and still got to suffer for the shit that I did? It doesn't make sense. It's like a double double standard. It's like you're getting convicted twice. If he do prison time, trust me, that's going to be bad enough. You don't got to take his music. You don't got to do all that other extra shit. But I'm not totally with the mute R. Kelly. I'm just with the stop backing him and let this shit go down. And let us see if he's guilty or innocent. And then you can do the rest of your judging or whatever the fuck you want to do. And even then, if the man can learn and change, y'all motherfuckers need to forgive him. Because that's one of the number one motherfucking commandments. 
If you can't forgive a motherfucker on earth when you make it up to these pearly gates, don't think I'm going to forgive your motherfucking ass. Now, it ain't the way that the Bible says it, but it's the way a nigga say it in the streets. And nigga, if you don't understand that language, then motherfucker, I can't dumb it down no further for you. But that's going to be the show for today. So make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app, make sure you check out the sponsors page and shit. I'm out.